Hello everyone, uh, thanks for joining me back playing some Minecraft. Um, so I, I'm a little bit disappointed right now. I, uh, I just found out that the last episode I recorded, um, not full, it wasn't a full episode, it was probably 8 or 10 minutes or something, was was just rendered useless because I uh, I had the Minecraft volume settings much too high and um, and it sort of it, well, it did overpower my voice and also the uh, the first episode I recorded is too long to fit in YouTube which I didn't know about <laughs> I should have researched it a little bit more than I did so there may or may not be a first episode. This might be the first one, starting from here. Um, so I'm actually gonna gonna just recap uh, everything that's been done on the world right now, and then throw that up. So I spawned right here. Um, after sort of going into my world and explaining, I'm in peaceful right now, just so I explain what you missed, because uh, I don't think I'm going to be throwing up a first episode. Um, so I explained what my my alias was for the series. Uh, I'm called the Dogman. I'm going to be doing a survival Minecraft Let's Play. Um, no mods or or anything. Uh, so I spawned here. Um, I talked a little bit about why I'm doing... Actually, I don't really need to explain everything. I, The reason I'm doing starting a Let's Play is not because I want to have a successful YouTube thing or anything. It's more um, I want a little bit of recognition for the, uh, the stuff that I build. Because I spend a lot of time on Minecraft, and um, I feel like having maybe even ten people watch my what see what I build would make me quite happy. And uh, and yeah, so I spawned over there, uh, saw this village here. I, I didn't choose a seed; it was just randomly generated. And then this. Uh, sand fell away here and there's a zombie dungeon so I um, looted the chests and did that so I came over here there was some stuff in the village had a blacksmith uh, so I started I started the, like anyone else would um, aided by the village and I just I've just been caving for the last probably eight no two or three hours just uh, getting some resources um, in here and then what I did after that was uh, kind of just harvest sugarcane and breed some cows to uh, get those bookshelves you might have seen just now um, so that's over here along this river and I've got a tiny little cow cow thing over there uh, gonna be improving both of those quite a bit. Looted the uh, temple, didn't get a ton good. Um, and where we are right now, I was gonna build a slime farm, quite basic uh, right now. So that's where we're at in the world. Um, sorry for sorry for the poor state of the videos um, I mean yeah it's my own fault really uh, hopefully well probably not too many people will even be watching this so it's not too big a deal um, I'm gonna go ditch some of this stuff and then I'll see you down in the slime farm so uh, 
so the reason I'm building, the, I'm back on normal difficulty now. Um, the reason I'm building this is because a bunch of the things that I'm going to be building soon require sticky pistons. And uh, I don't really want to be just running around caves hoping to find slimes. Um, I wanted to build, also slime farms are really easy to make. They don't require any lighting up of caves or anything. You just dig out the chunks. Um, yeah, so uh, for those of you who don't know how uh, slime spawning works, is that they can spawn in specific chunks determined by the seed, um, and then in those chunks below or on level Y40, so see I'm at Y39, just because I'm not totally sure um, which, which it is. Uh, and they can spawn in any light level, so it's not a big deal. Um, yeah, so I, I'll dig this out and then explain my idea. There we go, uh, chunks dig out. So my idea is to have, actually, sorry, I should explain this better. Um, mobs only move around, I think, if you're within 36 blocks of them. Uh, but they only spawn if you're in within uh, 32. So, um, you know, they only spawn outside of 32, but they only move inside of 36. So to get the slimes to move into a collection area where I can easily kill them, I have to uh, have a system of pushers and stuff. So what I was thinking was to have, say, pistons here, eight across, because water flows eight blocks. And then water source blocks, source uh, streams, or whatever you want to call them, here. Um, so that they could be retracted on a timer. So you could, so this is one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, I might as well just cut it off here. Um, so then at this one, there would be pistons here. and water source blocks here, and it would spiral all the way down to a central collection point. And there would be a, a timer uh, turning the water block streams on for a certain amount of time, so the slime spawned here would be pushed to here, then the, the that would turn off, this would turn on, they'd be pushed over to here, then one here would to turn on and that would turn off and they'd push be pushed over to here but now they'd be blocks lower and it would go all the way down to a central point so uh, that's what I'm going to try to do maybe I'll see you when and if it's done So I've got a little bit of work done down here. Um, I think this is what the layout is going to be. It won't be a full chunk, but that's okay. So how it works is eight blocks, eight by eight squares, uh, so that water will flow perfectly, and um, push them into the next square, the slimes. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to add the water and pistons and see how it works. So um, I realized when I was working on the slime farm that 
it'll be quite difficult to build a uh, a decent timer without comparators, which need quartz. So uh, I'm gonna head to the Nether for the first time and um, get me some quartz. This will be temporary. I'm planning on. I won't be building a like uh, a uh, proper base in here or anything. Um, I'm just going here as quickly as I can, grab some quartz, and probably leave as quickly as I can as well. Because uh, I don't even bother to take my inventory off of me. Um, Alright. Alright, gonna light her up. See you on the other side. Well, no, I'll start with you. Hopefully I'm not over a lava lake or somewhere dangerous. Perfect. This is as good as it could be. Got my fortune pick finally coming in handy. There's some right there. Alright. This is by no means where my uh, nether portal is going to be. This was the only reason I came here. And, um, you know what I'm just thinking? Once I'm here, I'm going to try and grab some glowstone real quick. Uh, yeah, that's what I'll do. Yeah, so I uh, collected about a, almost a stack and a half of glowstone. Um, destroyed my nether portal. I'm not going to try not to go back through there anymore. I don't want to get too developed. Uh, yeah, so I'll see you, see you when I'm working on my timer.